video for you today on the Masterforge modular gas grill that I've reviewed in the past. Um, and I found a way to actually improve the quality of this grill and the grilling experience. As you know, most barbecues come with these flame tamers here to go over the individual burners to kind of help with flare-ups and stuff. But they don't necessarily always do the greatest job. And what you'll find is right along the edge here, your flame tends to be a lot hotter. Um, the middle is not too bad. Um, as you start to get to the farther outer corner, especially with the outside one here, um, it tends to be a little bit cooler. So you have some variances of temperature that I wasn't in love with and I wanted to find a way to just uh, make it that much better. So what I've done is I've taken these off. And I went and bought a grate to put down here. As you can see, there's a ledge that goes all the way across. And the dimensions of this is a 17 and 3 quarters by 13 and a half um, grate. And I got two of them. And so it comes all the way to the edge of this outside grill here. And then it doesn't cover the uh, infrared grill down there. But what I'm going to use these grates down here for is I'm going to put some ceramic tiles down here with the holes in them. Um, you can also put the ceramic briquettes or lava rock or whatever you so choose. But I'll show you what I've got here that I found online. These are the no flare squares. And they're kind of a cool thing. If you'll notice on your grill already, um, the back infrared burner and the bottom infrared burner, or the back rotisserie burner and the bottom infrared burner have grates that look like these and they're ceramic. Well, I'm going to cover this whole bottom grate with these ceramic tiles and what this will do is help with flare-ups, but more so what I'm looking for it to do is help it to evenly distribute the heat and these ceramics are going to retain heat and um, I think also improve the gas consumption and get, eliminate any hot spots. So I'm going to get all these laid out and then I will test it out and see what I think. So here's what it looks like getting started. I bought two boxes which I think is going to have to be required to fill this whole thing. And on the grates they aren't the exact size so all I had to do was remove one space here and I just took a bolt cutters and just nipped one of them off and it actually fits very snugly in there. It fits perfect. Alright, so I've got all of them laid out, but there's a few small spaces that I need to put the tiles because according to the directions, it says you need to fit them together tightly. So it says you can cut these. Um, so I just took a marker, marked it, used a, just a regular old hacksaw and scored it and then they just break really nicely. So I'm going to get all these cut and then I'll fit those in and see how it looks. That's the space that I have left. And these are the tiles that I cut. And they fit perfect. These are the other halves of the tiles that I cut off. And actually they will fit right there on that lip. So this came out exactly perfect and I actually didn't plan it this way. I just kind of guessed and uh, got lucky actually. So here's what it looks like all done. I used two boxes of 28. So 56 tiles and I had a whole two whole tiles left plus like three of these little cutoffs at the end. So you have a couple extra tiles in case you break one. But it looks pretty good. And I'm hoping it works as good as it looks. So I just threw a burger on here. And we will see how it does with flare-ups. Um, it seems to get very, very hot. And the temperature, you know, just from waving my hand in different spots, seems to be real even and consistent. Um, and the grill heated up real nicely, so we'll see how this burger turns out. 
So, so far I have not seen a single flare-up. Um, it seems to be doing a really good job other than I ran out of propane about halfway through my burger and so I had to grab the one from the sink module. But other than that, it looks like a really good job. Um, cost of these is about 68 bucks, so they're a little bit expensive, um, but they should really improve the overall performance of any grill out there that has those flame tamers. Um, even a cheap grill, um, I think that they'd really help out, and so far it seems to be working really well. I'll do some more cooking on it and do a follow-up video of just what the longevity of them is and if they still perform how I think they're going to do.